All right then, so now that you're regex fledglings, I think it's time we move on and start to create this kind of form, feedback and validation using regular expressions. So to do this, I've already created the basic HTML and CSS structure, which is going to give you a form looking like this on the page, because I don't want to waste your time creating a HTML form and styling it, because I assume you already know a little bit about how to do that. So if you want this basic code, this kind of starting code, then feel free to go to my regex playlist repo on GitHub, and you'll find all the code there. Make sure you select lesson 10 because that's the lesson that we're on and you can find an index.html file styles.css and a validation.js at the minute there's nothing in the js file at the minute this is where all of our regex and validation is going to go eventually but you will find some basic html and base styles in these two files right here okay so it's going to look something like this we have at the top a link to our style sheet then we have a h1 then the form itself, which is five input fields at the minute. They're all text, except for this one, which is the password field. This is of type password. And all that does is basically when we type into the field, it's gonna hide, if I just refresh this, it's gonna hide those characters so no one can see, all right? But for now, what I'll do is change this into text so that we can see the characters to begin with. Then eventually what we'll do is turn it back to password, okay? So we also have a hint, a p tag under each input. And this is saying what that input must be. So we can see that on the page over here, we can say that the username must be alphanumeric and contain five to 12 characters. Email must be a valid address. The password must be alphanumeric, at sign, underscore, and dashes are also allowed and be eight to 20 characters long. Telephone must be a valid UK telephone number, 11 digits, and the slug must only contain lowercase letters, numbers and hyphens and be between eight and 20 characters long. So this is the criteria that we wanna adhere to. And we'll be creating regular expressions to only match these things right here in each one of these fields. If they type something that's 12 digits or seven digits here, we won't get a match. If they type something here which doesn't adhere to this stuff right here, then we won't get a match, etc. So that's what the bulk of this second part of the series is all going to be about, creating uh, regular expressions to match these different fields so that they go green and nice and give some user feedback, okay? So the way we're going to achieve this is that when a user starts to type something in, then JavaScript is going to listen for that typing or key up event. And when it hears it, it's going to look at what's in the form field. And when what's in the form field matches our regular expression pattern, then it's gonna add a class of valid to this particular form field. Then we can style it in a particular way, like give it a green border to let the user know that at that moment in time, this field is valid, all right? So we'll start by creating our very first regular expression in the next tutorial.